Hello everyone. Today we are going to solve a numerical on finding uh, flux through a surface for a given vector field. So the numerical is equivalent to say finding the double integral of the vector field f dot n cap df over the surfaces where n cap is the unit outward normal vector to the surface. So the vector field here is given by this equation z square i cap plus x j cap minus 3 z k cap and uh, the surface is given by a parabolic cylinder which is cut by the planes x0, x1 and z0. Okay. So, to solve this numerical, first let us see that there is a parabolic cylinder. So, that maybe they drawn in this shape. Okay. So, with the x axis being in this direction and this parabola as z is equal to 4 minus y square, so downward concave down parabola and uh, this parabola is extended for towards the x axis okay and this is then cut by the planes x0 and x1 so uh, this cylinder is cut by x0 and x1 and and uh, then the z0 that means the ground so there is this is not extended further okay so maybe uh, we can assume that this parabola uh, is uh, just lying above the ground. Okay. So, for this, it is said that the unit outward normal is away from the x axis. So, if x axis is here, then away from the x axis means in the upward direction we have a unit normal n cap. So, first we let us calculate that unit normal. So, for that First, see that we need to find the unit normal on the parabolic cylinder, and the parabolic cylinder may be written as a function h, which is z plus y square minus 4 is equal to 0 is the surface space, and so the unit normal to this surface is calculated as gradient h, because gradient h is normal to the surface h and to find unit normal any vector divided by its length will give us a unit vector so n cap can be calculated as gradient h divided by the length of the gradient h so gradient h means we have to take derivative of this with x so that's 0 so 0 i cap plus derivative of this with y so that's 2y so we have 2 times y j cap plus the derivative of this with z which is 1 so plus k cap so that's gradient of h and then divided by the length of this so length of this is simply 4y square plus 1 square root so once we know the unit vector we can also calculate the ds element and we know that the ds element is calculated by taking the projection of the surface on one of the planes so if you take the projection of this on the xy plane then clearly you can see that if you project this surface parabolic surface on the ground then uh, 
this surface will be a rectangle with uh, x going from 0 to 1 and uh, y going from minus 2 to 2. So we will have uh, a rectangle as the injection with x going from 0 to 1 and y going from minus 2 to 2. So ds element is given by dy dx or dx dy whichever order you want to take and divided by the modulus of n dot q cap so n cap is already there so if we take the dot product with q cap then j dot k will be 0 and k dot k will be 1 so it will give us square root of 4y square plus 1 dy dx. So clearly, we can uh, calculate the flux by calculating the double integral f dot n dx over the surface of where f dot n cap can be calculated <coughs> by using the dot product of f vector which is already defined and taking its dot product with the n cap so if we take the dot product of these two then i dot i should be one but there is no i so zero and i dot with j and k are already zero so j dot j one that gives 2xy divided by this root factor and k dot k will give minus 3z times 1 so minus 3z divided by this factor so 1 by root factor is common and above we have 2xy minus 3z so what we get is 2xy minus 3z divided by this root factor and then if we substitute the ds element from here then this root factor will cancel out and we will have this simply multiplied with dy dx and limits of y are minus 2 to 2 and limits of x are 0 to 1. So we need to solve this double integral where z we need to substitute from the surface. So z is 4 minus y square. So we can rewrite this double integral as 0 to 1 integral minus 2 to 2. 2xy minus 3 times 4 minus y square so minus 3 times 4 minus y square d by dx which can be written as a double integral 0 to 1 minus 2 to 2 2xy minus 12 plus 3y square integration with y first and then the limit so if we integrate this with y first then 0 to 1 integration with y of first factor 2xy is y square by 2 treating x constant so it cancels out and we have x y square minus 12y plus y square integral is y cube by 3 so we'll simply have y cube we substitute the limit minus 2 to 2 dx so integral 0 to 1 upper limit 2 will give 4 minus lower limit minus 2 will give 4 so this will become 0 so we'll have minus 12 y value 2 minus y value minus 2 so we'll get 4 times this so we have minus uh, 48 plus y cube value will be 2 cube 8 minus minus 2 cube which is minus 8 so it becomes plus 16 dx and so we have is minus 32 integral 0 to 1 
dA and this value is integral is x substituting at the lower limit will be 1 so we have it minus x by dt as the amount of flux so this way we can solve the numerical for finding flux using double integral